Hello and welcome to my channel. Now you join me here, I am actually on part of the Coast to Coast Trail. I did promise you that I was going to visit some of the uh, Coast to Coast uh, Trail um, over the coming months on my lead up to September 2020 when I am going to be doing the Coast to Coast myself. So I am in Keld, I'm just outside of Keld and uh, another place called Muka, I think uh, it's pronounced. Keld and Muka and uh, I'm just having a little look around here and uh, just getting a bit of a feel of, and just getting a bit of a feel for it. And um, I'm also making my way up to somewhere called Crackpot Hall and there's a bit of a story with that. Um, I'm hoping to find it today. So, come on. So amazing views here in uh, in Swaledale and like I said making my way up to a place called Crackpot Hall and there's a little story about uh, the family that lived there and uh, yeah I can't believe it. I'm going to be walking actually walking this way the other way going downward uh, heading towards Robin Hood's Bay I'll still have a long way to go when I get to here but it's really good to, to be on the trail I'm really enjoying this look at the views look at the views you might see Sheila there, she'll give you a wave. I haven't come here on my own today. So it's us and Sheila. <laughs> yes, amazing views. This has really given me a taste for the coast to coast. If this is the sort of views that I'm going to see, and I know I won't be seeing it all the way, but uh, if these are some of the views I'm gonna see, I cannot wait. This is absolutely glorious. So I'm rising up out of the uh, little village of Keld and I'm heading towards, I'm heading towards what uh, is going to be a ruin, a, uh, a little farmhouse. There's a couple of uh, authors back in the 1930s wrote a book called Swaledale and they were roaming around these parts. They loved this area and I can see why. And, um, and they came across a family and one of them was called Alice and uh, people thought that they made they made Alice the character up in their book but she was actually a real person and uh, she did exist and apparently she was absolutely feral wild as wild and mad as the moors is what they said so uh, so I'm looking for a place called Crackpot Hall and it's not as grand as it sounds but uh, it'll be interesting to see to think about uh, this this family that lived up here in the back in the 1930s and before uh, absolutely feral they were apparently they climbed rocks and trees like animals that's what they said so I wanted to just come up and have a look at it and I'm bringing you guys with me so I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far and I am enjoying we are enjoying me and Sheila are enjoying your company or we would be up here all by ourselves So when I am doing my coast to coast, I'll be coming all the way along this valley, maybe up on the tops here. And I have actually found Crackpot Hall and that's it behind me. And there's an interesting story, like I say, about the family that lived here all them years back. And uh, one girl in particular, she was said to be as mad as the Moors, the madness of the Moors inside her. And uh, they were a really feral family. And you can imagine living up here all them years ago, they never saw anyone but themselves, just their own family. And the whole family apparently used to play hide and seek in these moors all around the moors and this area is riddled with natural caves 
and the lead mines, the shafts for the lead mines. So great place for hide and seek for uh, for like a four year old child. This child was was spotted four year old feral, um, just uh, roaming around these hills, and she was often seen with her dog and her two white cats. And um, some people have said uh, it wasn't unusual to find her fast asleep in a in a ditch, and the cats and the dog cuddled up with her. And this is the house where they lived. Uh, it was originally a hunting lodge uh, many, 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 many years before. Uh, I think that's how it maybe has a grand name like uh, Crackpot Hall. <laughs> anyway, you could actually see, you could actually see the, uh, the range and the fireplace and everything like that. So I'm really glad that I found it. And I will be walking up this way and I'll be remembering this vlog uh, as I walk this way doing my coast to coast. I might just take this route. There's three routes that I can take and um, and I think I might choose this one just to have another look at it. So I'm glad I found it. And you can see the uh, the destruction that the lead mining has done here at the other side of Crackpot Hall. It's uh, it's definitely left its mark, I think forever. But there behind me is uh, Crackpot Hall. And I'm so glad that I found it. Uh, it's an interesting story. And uh, I'll put a link below to, well, I'll put a few links below as to information that I found about this little story about this uh, four-year-old girl that was discovered by these authors. And uh, as I was saying, they, uh, people believed that they'd sort of dramatized her character and that she was really made up. I put a link to this guy that actually found her. He found her not so long back, 88 years old. And uh, there's a recording, a BBC Radio 3 kind of uh, recording of when he interviewed her. And you can hear in her laugh how feral she, she would have been. This is a real, a real taster. This has wet my appetite for the coast to coast. What an amazing part of the world. And I'm going to be walking on here next year. Amazing, amazing. I'm going to head on down into Kel, try and find a coffee shop, something to eat and drink and, uh, and head on back. Hope you enjoyed it. I upload a vlog every week, so if it's the first time on my channel, consider subscribing. If you're interested in the coast to coast, I will be doing that next year. As I keep saying, I keep reminding you of that. If you can offer me any advice on the coast to coast, uh, one man tent, I'm looking for a one man tent, a really good quality uh, tent to use for the, uh, for the wild camping part of my coast to coast. It won't all be wild camping. Some of it will be in hostels and in uh, bed and breakfast, but half of it will be wild camped. And I'm looking forward to that. So if you can offer me any advice on that, um, please do. Just navigating this water here. And, uh, and until the next one, bye.